Stakeholders working on migration urged media practitioners to promote women's voices in migration decision-making in their reportage and ensure that policymakers do not leave female migrants behind when formulating policies on migration. They stated that the neglect of gender-specific issues had conditions that limit the benefits of migration for women, exposing them to gender-specific risks such as harassment, sexual exploitation, and discrimination. Details in this report. The training was organized by a non-government organization, Girl Inspired Development Network, under its campaign awareness project, Connect Her, through the Migrant Project to equip journalists with the knowledge and tools to amplify Nigerian women's voices in the migration narrative. The stakeholders, including the non-government organizations, the International Organization for Migration, and government agencies, urged the media to advocate the promotion and protection of migrant women's rights through their reports. Speaking on the topic Strengthening Women's Voices in Migration Decision, Head of Migration Resource Center Lagos, Maureen O.V., said statistics show that 45% of women migrate on their own, adding that more women are migrating independently. Empowerment for women as a catalyst, this is the role of the government, creates a living environment for interaction by all. So the CSOs, NGOs, state actors, non-state actors, and the migrant women, they are free to come into the center and receive all the help they can. We have profiling for them right from the, uh, the foyer there. So we profile them on what they want to do, get them into vocational trainings and all. I'm happy the media, you are solidly here. So it's one of the areas we look at how you can amplify the voices of the women, show this a role play of the government. We provide migration advice, which is very key. Right at the center, they will also go out. We will see the details of the areas where we provide migration advice and the centers where we carry it. We go to schools, we go to universities, we go to polytechnics, we go to uh, churches, we go to mosques, we go to markets and communities to give migration advice. There's also the pre-quartial orientation seminar for those who are ready to go. So we inform them, you agree with me that information is very key. Once a woman is educated, she's empowered. So for most that fall victims, they don't have information. So they don't see the red light, they don't get the red flag, and before you know they are falling victims. But once they are informed, they can take an informed decision that will help guide their migration uh, uh, decisions. So, so when they are about traveling, they come to us for pre departure orientation trainings and seminars. So in the process, there's a set of ladies that were going to Saudi Arabia. By the time we finish talking to them, they, you can see that from what they said, the red flag was there, that they were being trafficked. So by the time we spoke to them, told them what should be, what should not be, look at what they have in stock. About half of them dropped out. They decided they would not go again. And the other half that went, the story was not palatable. So they had to find ways of bringing them back home by the time it became so bad. So we do counseling and advocacy. So these are ways we empower women for them to make a informed migration decision as government. An awareness raising project officer, IOM, Cyprim Chiptakeri, in her presentation titled The Role of the Media in Amplifying Women's Migration Decision, disclosed that from April 2017 to date, not less than 34,694 stranded Nigerian migrants have been assisted to return home through the collaboration of the federal government and the IOM among which were 19,579 males and 15,115 females. For instance, since April 2017 to date, we have uh, successfully, of course, working with uh, the government partners, supported the return of um, over 33,000 stranded Nigerian uh, migrants spread across different countries, predominantly Libya, Mali, Niger, uh, we have uh, Lebanon. Have I mentioned Mali? 
yes, we have um, Lebanon, and then we have some few cases from uh, uh, Europe, but this one is uh, case by case. There is also another set that at times get also confused. IOM, we don't engage in deportation at all. Because there are times, I know there are some, at times I get a question from a journalist like, yes, we heard that uh, some migrants uh, were deported uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Can IOM com comment on this? No. We don't advocate for deportation because as much as possible, we believe each and every uh, migrant should be given uh, the rightful dignity. Also speaking, a lawyer and migration counsellor, Eniten Ibironke, highlighted the various risks and exploitations associated with irregular migration, especially for women, urging the media to use their agenda-setting role and influence to change the narrative. Can start to think of deeper collaborations with IOM and other bodies to enhance the media's ability to engage and empower women in migration. I know that Bertiana complained and said, oh, we go, we invite you, don't come, and the person said, what about data? But maybe what we're not doing is to think out of the box. Now, IOM has what it has. Who has actually thought of how they want to do it? Who has thought to themselves that as a media house, wants to just have a, what kind of proposals are you bringing forward? One thing I learned as a lawyer and as a person who is in the brand awareness space is that don't go out of the box to go and create what you want. If somebody says this is what I want to do, what I need to do is to key into what is the value to you. Now, most times journalists go to organizations demanding the answers that they want and the way they want it. And the truth is that I don't have an obligation to give it to you if it doesn't fall in line with my ethos or my values. But if we start to think out of the box and say to ourselves, I want to be able to do something. These are my focus areas. This is my. This is where I'm looking at. How do I go about doing this? Remember, think through other ways to engage with the organizations to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. Think through. In here, there are many people. There are people that do it online. There are people that do things. You might be working as a particular person for an organization, but I will say over and over and over again. Think out of the box. But Participants called on journalists to elevate the voices of women in the decision-making process surrounding migration by, among other things, supporting legislative change and setting up forums with female immigrants to voice their concerns. 